where it always to start this thing. Like, I don't know how to start. <laughs> what do you Honestly. Oh, I don't know how to start this. Hi everybody and welcome back to our vlog. Before we share our very special engagement and proposal story, I would like to share with you a little bit of our Easter morning footage because I know how much you guys like watching these quiet family vlogs, so I hope you enjoy! Also shout out to Vivian who filmed pretty much the most of this Easter vlog for us, so that is really cool that now she's helping me. reactions so much i think actually jason's was my favorite because he started with like being rude on the phone and then as soon as i showed it he was like his face like literally lit up so much <laughs> yeah my grandma was pretty good too she was not happy that she thought that we had broke up <laughs> yeah your grandma was awesome she was like what did you do she was like the first reaction was like what did you do what why i think the youtube is the only place we didn't talk about it yet and 
that's why we decided to wait a little bit because there were so many people reaching out on every platform asking about the story because like they know how we met by now but they don't know like what got to the point what got us to the point where we like engaged and how it happened and because the story is so special for those of you who are on tiktok you already like know everything and i love your guys's reaction and how you like so sweet and so supportive of the idea and how romantic that gesture was because brendan is not very romantic like in general like at all i am but you you have you have to get to know me yeah that's what it that's a, such a good point. That's such a good point. Yeah, I think I told one of the Brendan's really, really, really good friends because he always jokes about like, why are you with him? Why are you with him? Like, and and I always, and I remember telling him back then it was like a few months into our relationship, and I said I don't think anybody really, Edwin, I'm talking about you by the way. He, I told I texted him. I said I don't think anybody ever actually took the time to to see what's inside, to see the real Brandon, to to take the time and effort to really know who he is, because who he is is truly is like the kindest, sweetest, romantic, caring person. And he just puts this front on, which is kind of, I don't know why you do that, but it's okay. Macho, macho, macho man. machismo, as your dad always says, like mm -hmm. his, his machismo is pissing me off. Yeah. He always says that. It's a good impression of your dad. But anyway, so here's the story. Here's the story. And I think when you know the beginning of it, it just makes it that much more special. When we met, uh, Brendan is clearly not a classical music performer, not a piano player. He doesn't play instruments. Like, it's just like a, a new world for him completely. But apparently, after we met, he has told me that a lifelong dream, and I don't think it, it's not a... It really is a life dream. No, legit. I had two dreams. Um, my very first dream in life was to be on the cover of Men's Health, which, which I he was three eventually times? got to do. Yeah, three times he was on the Men's Health magazine. So I got cover. to do that, and then I believe it was 1999. Um, I would study for my college classes, and I would play classical music while I was studying. And um, one of the songs was Moonlight Sonata, and I fell in love with it. Like, I loved it, and I would just play it over and over and over again, and just something about it was captivating to me. So I was like, man, I, w I wish I would be able to play that song one day. It would be like a life goal. I always had that. It was So apparently it was weird for me to hear, because I know he's, like, very far from classical music, like, performing it, like, going to concerts, like, like so it was kind of like, okay, so we, that, that was interesting. And he said, that's, like, the dream of my life, to be able to play this song. And when we just started dating, I was like, I'll teach you. Like, okay, it's a, it's a difficult, it's like a, it's not a beginner's even intermediate level song, it's a, it's a serious piece, and I was like, you know, I'll teach you, why not? Little by little, we're gonna take it like one measure at a time, right? I, I can't, I, I don't know how to read a note on a page. Still, a to this day. I just said, listen, can you teach me in very short increments, and then I can just keep adding to it. So show me a little bit by a little bit. And I would just memorize the motor patterns of it all. Yes, yes, exactly. And so we decided to do that and we started learning. And what I didn't fully realize back then about Brendan is when he sets his mind on something, he gets obsessive about it to the point that he would practice for hours and hours and hours. He would get that when he would be here, he would sit at my piano and play for three hours non-stop and i was like baby that's time for dinner and he would be just like play and when he was at home at his place he would call me and i would have to sit on the phone for hours like no that's not the, that's not the right note that's not the right note it was fascinating to me though to see how he would be just like so dedicated to learn that piece so long story short in a couple of months he's he would start progressing he would be like had had like one page down which is a lot right um he had one page down and I think he got so excited and so inspired. So he gave me this promise. He's like, okay, so here's the thing he says. If one day I'm I'm gonna play through the whole thing, I'm gonna marry you. From from beginning to the end, right? Is one if one day I'm playing the whole thing through, I'm marrying you. And I was like, wow, that's a that's that's quite a promise. Before we get to that point, you have to understand the funny part of it. The funny part is the song, the the piece. Oh, I said song like you. The piece, the piece ends on the two chords which are exactly the same so you play the chord and then you just repeat it right so that you cannot so he, little did he know with his obsession and dedication he 
four months later, he was able to play the whole piece. Like, he learned it. So what this, how would, how would I find a good word for you? So like, the person did, he intentionally would not play the last chord and tell me like, I can't figure it out. Just cannot figure it out. But the funny part is like, he already played the chord. He just has to like, plays the hand on the same exact chord. So he would make this joke about not being able to figure it out because he knows when he does repeat that chord, he will like marry me. So that was back in, that's like a year ago, over a year ago when he got to that, but it was April, I think, when he like, okay, I walked through the whole thing. So it was, it's been a year since he would just mess that chord up, right? And I was very angry at first and very angry at first, but then I got so used to it, I would be expecting to hear the wrong chord in the end all the time. So fast forward to August, because people, one of the most um, asked questions to you, by the way, is like, like, when did you know? Like, when did you know? And there was a moment, actually, there was a moment when we came back from our like three day, four day trip, whatever that was. And remember, you took me like all around like the coastal line and stuff. We came back, we were laying before going to sleep. And like, he's like, I need to tell you something. And when he says that, usually it's some sort of very messed up joke comes out after that. And I was like, okay, are you about to say some of this? And, sorry for my language. And he's like, no. And I was like, okay, what is it? And then he said, I think I want to marry you. That's what he said. And I was like, I, I was not, I was, I don't think I expected that at that moment. But this is when I told him, like, I really want to marry you too. And I have a traditional Armenian family. Everybody knows what that means. We're talking traditional Orthodox Armenian, which is like, why are you not married? Why are you not? This is inappropriate. This, So it's a pressure, which I did not want to project on him. But I think my anxiety about being pressured definitely went that way. And Brandon is the person, when you tell him to do something, this is exactly what you're not going to do. Like, he needs to make his own decisions. So... I just remember a, a feeling mm -hmm. of just like if 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 I'm gonna do that, this is the person that I want to do it with. I had to really get serious, and so for me to fully commit again, it just I had to be like extra, extra, extra sure. Yeah, it's it, for me. It was just everything. I wanted to have enough time in the relationship to see as many sides as I could of yeah. our relationship, the ups and the downs and how do we handle these twists and turns and bumps on the road and all that. And, um, you know, I, it was, you know, I, I bought the ring. Oh my God. I, when I found out, I freaked, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it that he bought it that long ago. I bought the ring in October. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Oh my God. If I have known that, it would save me so much anxiety because I had no clue. I th I didn't know he, I didn't know that. I wasn't sure he wanted to marry me. And apparently he had the ring that whole time. <laughs> just having the trust, just having the... I said, trust me, trust me, trust Because I wanted the proposal to be like, at the right time. I just wanted it to be at the right time. I didn't want to feel forced. I didn't want Exactly. It... So that's what I mean by your turns. Like you wanted to do it when you felt right. I wanted it to be like very organic like hey this is the right place the right time like you're ready i'm ready not i'm ready and you're not or she's ready and i'm not we both were and then that to me was the the appropriate time not a oh you have to know at nine months or one year or whatever uh time frame that a lot of people give i <laughs> i did go ask vivian I oh, said, we need to talk to Vivian about it because she's she's the mastermind behind so many things. She's she's freaking amazing. But I remember that um, because I had the oh here she is. She's already, she heard her name. She's like, is it my turn? I because I I'm a I'm a very anxious person. I have, I and mean, you know, we all have traumas. We both we all have traumas. But in my traumas, were also like making me question this whole thing and it's you know at this age at this i wanted to be a good example my, for my daughters and knowing that when i have values and principles like i want them to be respected in every way so it, then we had conversations and i think we we all knew and i like how we we do um counseling we, we like we have therapy couple therapy which helps i think so much and he said the amazing thing our therapist said the amazing thing he said i hope you understand guys that your lowest lows is everybody else's regular day. So like we, it, it kind of, we, I knew that, but when he said it out loud, it just made me, it's like a reassurance to understand we have 
the highest highs and we have a lowest lows for us and for other people our lowest lows is like regular day of marriage like we we still yet to have a serious argument or a fight or anything where we would not be fully respectful and communicative never once happened in this so it's kind of weird to realize when he said that that kind of reinforced it for me just how much we i guess we, we were meant to be because we're able to go through the lower parts to this level and so vivian <laughs> she she was she was the mastermind behind so many things. So she's been sending Brandon the links to the ring I wanted because I'm very particular, which is which is really funny. I remember over a year ago we were we went to the mall with Brandon's mom and the kids, and then I wanted to buy something, and I come back and they're at Zales because guess who dragged them to Zales? That was Vivian. It's just she dragged Brandon and his mom, and I come and they choose the rings, and I start freaking out like, why are we here? Why are you choosing ring? Like, what is happening? That was like last summer. It's ten months ago. Yeah, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's happening? And then I, of course, I said, I need to get out of the store. Then I came back because I, I didn't like the ring they were looking at. So I just, I came back and I was like, I don't like any of this, by the way. And they're like, which one do you like? And then I point, I went to this exact, like, there's only one ring I like. And I said, I want that one. And I walked out. So Vivian made sure she remembered what ring it was. She was, she made sure that she had the link to that ring. So every time Zales would have a sale, she, she would be. She hey was, Brandon! Hey Brandon! Guess what? Guess what? So it it was the cutest thing, and you know that that's another thing. Nobody talks about it much because it's always always between the two people. But not many people understand that. For me, it's not even the approval. It's like the acceptance as a father figure of Brandon of my kids. It was just like number one factor for me. Trust me. And like it it was just like okay, this like. The fact that we became an instant family from the day he met the kids, it was just like, checked all the other boxes for me, right? And it was just so great that she was so on it, you know? And then, so apparently, right before the pro proposing to me, he told her to record it, yeah? Yeah. He told, he like told me, can you film something without your mom knowing? I'm like, sure, what is it? And then he said like him playing the piano, and then... My first thoughts was that he was going to propose to her, but I thought to myself that's a bit too sudden, so maybe not. But he told me to like film or leave my phone at like the counter where... Like across the room, yeah. Yeah, because uh, mom, mommy, usually, she usually sits on the couch like across. Mm -hmm. So um, he told me that they just set it up and I said, oh, okay, sure. She left the camera and then she left the room. And this is where it gets ridiculous. So his his plan, which I think is so brilliant and romantic, was to sit down and play the the whole moonlight sonata through. That was his promise, with the last chord included, right? But what just it, as luck would have it, like I was in such a terrible mood that morning, <laughs> bad mood, because the friend who I just mentioned had the most genuine, amazing reaction, which I will never forget his face. You cannot fake that light up face when he saw the ring. He likes to tease people. Let's put it, let's call it tease, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna mention the constantly overstepping the lines, right? So he was teasing me the whole morning on a group chat of how I'm not the marriage material. All in good jest. Of because course. he absolutely loves her and he yeah. would have me marry her a long time he ago. He told so. you to marry me like, Two months after we met or something like that. Probably. Yeah. yeah, it was ridiculous. So I, I knew the intention, but it, again, me having the anxiety about how that thing, I was not happy that morning because he kept pushing it. So anyway, he started playing one light sonata because I've heard this piece 500 million times. So I didn't make anything out of it, right? So he's practicing. I go to the kitchen in a bad mood. So I start, and it's all on video. I, I stopped making the biggest noises. I was unloading the dishwasher. And imagine unloading the dishwasher in a bad mood. So I was like shoving the dishes in it. <laughs> Brandon, poor thing, because of all the noise, he kept messing up the piece. So 
And then he's like, well, that's, it's great. It sounds great. It's a little, little bit on, on the annoying side. He actually said it's a little bit on the annoying side. Slightly on the annoying side. And that's the first time he said that to me. So I got really pissed at that too. I was like, excuse me. I remember actually I said, excuse me. Slightly so anyway, I, and he kept restarting the piece because that was the whole point. He has to play the whole thing through. And I made it worse for him even there because... And I was I, very nervous too because I knew what I was about to do. So I had anxiety yes. about it. And then there was a lot of commotion and I'm like, she's not in the camera frame at this point. Yeah. And I'm like, well, how am I going to get all this? Is, is, not is she just going to go to the bedroom and do whatever? <laughs> or like, is she going to go back on the couch? It's like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm doing the dishes, doing, making his lunch. And I was like, I have to do the dishes so I can make your lunch. I was, I had so much attitude, but because I was making so much noise, he kept messing up and started from over. And then I, of course I had to chip in and that too. And I was like, if you keep starting over, you're never going to teach yourself to start from a certain spot in a piece that's bad for you. And I didn't realize he needed to start over because the deal was to play the whole thing through. So, oh my God. So at some point I just gave up on giving him any kind of advice and I, get, I got back on the couch and he was getting to the end of the piece. And I think this is when you like turn around to make sure I'm still in the room. You are paying, paying attention at yeah. least. <laughs> yeah. At the end, he's like turned around like, she's there. Okay, good. She's there. And then I cannot tell you because that I was beyond unprepared. So he plays the the chord and then he plays the last chord correctly for the first time ever. And I remember it took me maybe like half a second to be like, what? <laughs> that was my reaction. I was like, what did you just do? Because I couldn't, I couldn't comprehend it. And then this is when the rest of it happened. And he just told me he had something for me. And I'm going to let you guys watch like exactly what happened after that. So what happened because my overly emotional reaction i mean i i thought i was crying so hard that i couldn't breathe like i had one of those like panic attack in a good way like cries and i think i made too much noise and this is when sophie ran to the room because i guess she heard me crying so hard oh my god the planet. she, she was scared at first yeah she, she kind of was very confused because from Sophie's angle, she could only see the backside of mom because I was still down on one knee and Sophie didn't really know what was going on. Yeah. So I had to lean over <laughs> and hold out the engagement ring and then she just lit up. <gasps> <laughs> My favorite part
part of the whole thing is when Sophie just stormed like supersonic back to her room and she just yelled, Vivian and Brandon proposed! That was so cute because she was so happy and this is when um, Vivian and Mark came in. Mark's jaw literally went on the floor like this. Um, what was that? The scream painting, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That's what it was for! <laughs> personally thank Brandon for have, like thinking about the fact how much that meant to me to have that on tape like to have that videotaped because he he probably wanted the most authentic reaction possible and if I knew there was a camera if I saw the camera it would not make this moment so special it wasn't a lot of ugly crying there but like I wouldn't change a thing because <laughs> maybe because I didn't know I was filmed maybe because I didn't know it was it was not just a raw moment like i was i was just reacting straightly from my heart and i want to thank you guys for reacting for a funny video that we made after about like literally him proposing to me and like two minutes later me asking him like, do you still love me because that's not <laughs> that's not he, this is something he's probably gonna have to deal with for it's not far from the truth it, it, it's yeah it wasn't that much of a joke like i i need this constant reassurance and <laughs> that's probably one of the factors like when you choose to marry somebody like that you it, you have to weigh in like am i willing to deal with that for the rest of my life am i willing to be in question for the rest of my life if things are still there and you know he's He's, he's doing the best anyone would. What, how would you put that to words? I don't know. It's like it's a choice. You, you know, you, you fall in love with somebody by chance, but you stay in love with somebody by choice. You have to make that choice. Without the work, without compromises, without like the ugly stuff, as we call it. Like you can't, you, you, didn't, you didn't choose to be with this person, I guess. So Our whole relationship is based on a lot of opposites, a lot of meeting in the middle, a mm -hmm. lot of going, one person goes to the other side and then the other person goes to the other side and we immerse ourselves in the other person's world, um, which is why we came up with sort of weights and measures because <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a gym rat and she's... <laughs> I'm not a concert GMI. pianist, and uh, yeah, everything about us is uh, is opposite. We're we're like a definition of yin yin yang or whatever you call that. It's just like it's. When we were at WrestleMania, I literally, looked over at her, and I was just like, "What this woman's capable of doing in a concert? <laughs> Very like the most beautiful, elegant." kind of setting and she's able to do this stuff and she's sitting next to me at wrestlemania <laughs> i was like it, it, it really just kind of hit me i was like she just she's willing to enter into my world and i'm so willing to enter into hers so this is our not the first time but the most important event going out after Smackdown and today and tomorrow we're gonna go to WrestleMania but we're already here so this is really really exciting to remind you before I met Brendan I had no idea what wrestling was what WWE was none of this was part of my life and now I'm like oh let's go to WrestleMania and I was like oh this is such a great engagement for Brave because I'm eight years old what have you done today like seriously but, but we, we, have have fun. To, we, awesome. have to, we have to go back to the fact that he proposed to me by playing Moonlight Sonata. So he can see the same thing, what have you done to me? So it's just like we, yeah, exactly. we, have, uh, we have emerged into each other's lives. And that's what we were talking about in the previous videos. It's just like how funny that worked out that we, 
we're so different, but we're just so. We got yin and yang, but yeah, just like matched. Weights and, and measures. measures. We need to rename this channel into the weights and measures. Weights and measures. It's so perfect. All right, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. I know we're allowed to film the thing, but we're definitely gonna have a good time. Bye. You really realize that opposites attract, and sometimes it creates a lot of tension because because of the contrast. But this is where you like blur the lines. You have to meet in the middle. There is always the gray area, as you call it, because yin and yang is black and white. But you cannot make that work if there's like there. If there isn't a little gray spot in the middle where you always meet, and I mean, so far, so far it's been working. And I guess as long as we both agree to keep working on it, which I am more than willing to. So I, I think. I think it's gonna be great. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this clarified and answered some of your questions. You have a question? Uh, I wanna add one detail of, uh -huh. of when, like, uh, like, we all did the group hug. Uh -huh. uh, did Mark say, like, Brandon died? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he did! Mark jumped wow, on, good memory. Mark jumped on Brandon, he's like, Brandon, dad! Like, he made the connection. Like, it's interesting how Mark, I, you never know how Mark's brain works and how he processes things. So as soon as he saw the ring on my finger, he looks at Brandon like, Brandon, dad! That was, that was really cute. Okay, guys, you stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to, um, I know you guys already subscribed. If you're not, please do. And if you are... Um, I don't think I have to tell you there's a little bell somewhere in that area just to make sure you keep up with our updates because I'm still working towards being consistent posting on consistent dates so whenever our videos comes out it's like out of nowhere for now and I'm sorry I'm gonna work on that but so you don't miss them because they're out of nowhere uh, please make sure to press the bell button to keep up with the notifications and so let's let's hope that I'm gonna keep up with editing this stuff have a good day and Bye. happy Easter. Bye. 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 I want the other one. Now you guys it. can get away from me since I don't like you. Wait, oh. where's the other one? Can oh, I do the honors?